look at the damage done. Wardell can clean up a little bit. There's a player in U-Haul, though. Danny Steele up front, able to get a burst on. The right clicks work. TSM down to a man disadvantage. They were hoping to hold on to this U-Haul control, but LGI, they leave one late lurk over towards A short, and they're able to take it back. But Gus, you talked about that damage. That nade could be catastrophic as Drone clears out the U-Haul. It's back to a three on three with Thumbs trying to contest heavily now into U-Haul. That's got to be it, right? Hydra with a double. Hayes now in a 1v2. Last two players now for LGI. Lit up in a sense. Has wow. to just get a body shot, but Snake. Slick old wide swing. In these boys' hands. So we'll see if they've got LGI once more. Attempting another shower sink. It is once more again. Sabrosa oh, and oh. Wardell. But it's Sabrosa with the kill on the Sheriff to kick things off. Yeah, fade away. They fight for Orb and they're already out of there. They just wanted that first contact, see if they could actually get a frag back. But again, Sub Rosa completely shutting it down with a very tight angle. Sully, this is officially the first game on stream with a new patch, too. True, true. Doesn't things a little bit in terms of the, the frenzy, but we already saw that pop off in terms of round number one. Sub Rosa not spotted. Ooh evading the owl drone and wardell he's not gonna get hit by the paranoia but instead lug lumpy still gets the frag back sub rosa good trigger discipline gonna be able to get the frag back has the specter in his hands flash out wide swing nobody caught lug lumpy still with another frag back 2v2 it's cutler and sub rosa trying to make some space trying to isolate but at this point yeah. they do have a good conservative setup it's just hydro looking over towards site they do have eyes on you hall but looks like both players from tsm are just trying to make their way on direct Cutler with a full smoke up is a little bit scared at this point. Shock dart in. Double shock dart. Not going to be able to hit the second. Hydro has the angle. Even the recon dart going to be able to reveal the other one. Hydro! One Only that, but that guy is going to help out at least with haze swings. That first contact with the turret won't go out, and he's going to get overwhelmed by Danny Steele, but Drony actually gets himself a lineup. Gets a double. Hydro Snake still fragging back. Good stuff from Snake. And even then, only one man remaining. This is super None other winnable. than Hydro with Spike. At least isolated. You call it winnable, but... Again, we've already seen it from Hydro before. This time he only has a specter in his hands. It's a oh, does looking. have the timing over towards Long. Good shoulder peaks, and it's disciplined. He's already out of there. Just has to wait for Hydro to take yeah. his time up. They have eyes everywhere. 30 seconds left. They're not across, across, that same spot. Not necessarily a crossfire. I mean, yeah. No, not anymore. Drone can easily swing back. Oh, if Hydro yep. could have gone the kill on us, bro, a definitely could have isolated the second 1v1. Good position. Spike isn't around. They were still looking for that rotation that back. They do have a rotation cam, but even then, Sabrosa with a paranoia trying to clear up space, but Lug Lumpy takes him back. Drone sticking around in hookah, but it's only a singular man around. Wardell does at least get the frag back but secrets with a trade 2v2 plant will be able to go down oh look at this early advantage as well up in top of heaven cutler i think has read it though he realized he heard the sound cue what? but he gets nothing from it oh. huge fluff from cutler and drone left in a clutch this is immaculate from lgi they set up a fake all for the cabbages all for the seekers apologies and Double fake back to B to draw the seekers away, and then okay. they come back to A. This is so smart, and now they've got an advantage. Oh, I was about to say, they have no idea he's here, but that's wonderful. Drone now in a 1v2. They already have the info that he's on site. Just has to stick it a little bit. Gonna be able to go down to half. He might stick it all the way. Now, there you go, but there goes the swing from the back. Drone still has a showstopper. Two players around, double swing in plant, but they want to stick off of it just in case a player from TSM actually wants to peek out through the smokes. Good tight angle from Drone, but in goes the wide rotation. Oh, oh, there you go, Hayes. Love that. Hayes sticks around. Same thing with Sobroza. Now they can pop off as LGI down to a man's disadvantage. Now they just start to hound. Yeah, they caught Wardell in that TP as well, so they're going to slow things left. down. Plenty of time to work things out. Sabros is going to take a more advantageous position to cut off rotations back to A through the TP. But LGI once more playing a double fake. That Trailblazer is going to get deep into U-Haul, but won't peer into short. So TSM have to make this gamble. 2-2 two, two split. LGI have done this extremely well. You split this defense where you now have a more advantageous position. They're looking for the 2v2, and now it's a 2v1 here on the A site, Gus. Spike can go down relatively freely here of Drone. Mm. Had not gone for this swing. TSM up the Eco will finally be able to net themselves a second round. And LGI, they got to stay alive after time here. Drone still looking.
And they do have a breach flash to go in, which it looks like is already posted up here to take Octagon. The LGI have a really good setup. Wardell misses the shot. Cutler's there to pick things up, but trades go back, and LGI is storming the site now. But TSM are putting up one heck of a fight so far. Oh, and it's Wardell holding things down, too. Good old double. That's what left. you expect, but this time it was a little bit more, I guess I could say, clear cut of a take from LGI2. Split between B, double long, double Puka. It's not exactly that insane to take on, but Hydro, he's been going nuts in the last couple of rounds, and now he has an opportunity to really spread his wings. Still has to clear this awkward bathroom angle, which is now green box. Oh my gosh. Hydro catches up Ooh. one, and okay. The isolate his team, and with that pressure from LGI, it won't shift many players over towards the B side. As Sabrosa fully flashed, where's the kill? Two players get Ooh. flashed. Danny Seal goes down to his own teammates' flash points, and we're back to a four on four. But rifles have been picked up now for LGI. Still a decent opening. They went out the battle for the orb. That's going to be big going into the last round. Yeah, but... for sure. Of course, we still have to pay attention to this one because they're still hazed up in hookah. He's been playing around these more upwards position in terms of first contact on B off of LGI's first showing on A. But he does pivot on back. He does have turret in that headshot position in the back of tin can. Not only that, but actually Nano Swarm and Alarm Butt over towards the long position. So it has things relatively down. Same thing with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Hay still around sight. Should be... Definitely a little bit tougher for this team to make it through. Excuse me, it's actually color on the sky, but the Rolling Thunder actually used. It's a bold strategy to say the least, but with 17 seconds. seconds left, certainly running out of time. They're gonna burst out. There's already three players for TSM around. Secret Dust takes one back. Cutler looking for another one. Barely any time, but they're still gonna be able to get the bomb plant down. And not only that, but Wardell on his way back. 150 dashes into Tin Can. There's one in Kobe. No gonna be able to get the first. Not only that, but a player over towards Long. He's still searching. Has the off of the cross up. Doesn't get the kill. 75 HP left. Still could try to find that second one. But Hunter's Spear Hunter right now, Sully. Oh, but Wardell's already off. He's delaying so much time now, but it's already canceled. Good move! Secrets! That's unreal! The hunt play. This is what they did earlier. TSM. They've been having decent short potential, but they never ever actually committed to it like still going for it and wardell still gets a kill back and there you go Sabrosa, cheeky position it's gonna be cheesy strats like that that could certainly at least take the edge over a team like lgi maybe pugging out a couple empty rotation but it's gonna be tsm with almost full control site owl drone they don't know that drones even in this position right now and surprisingly they're thinking of backing away here the spike it will go down drone in the middle of tin can now backed up Ooh. the default plant. Big fight from Hydro, though. That comes up big for them. He doesn't have a cam for this retake just yet. Oh, Snake. That's charging up. And Snake could get a big timing on Haze, but kills. They're going all the way around. Now, Haze, he has found the first in the 1v4. But they're already stuck. Like, this round is already over. Nothing you can do there if you're Haze. TSM. What? But Danny Steele with the timing. This is what Wardell tried to do towards showers. Can Danny Seal be a little more successful here? Three players grouped up. Oh, a great dash though from Wardell. An even better nade though. What is this from Wardell? Running and gunning. But here comes Danny Steel on the flank. He's got two and he's dashed away to give LGI back the advantage. Hydra takes one back. Sabrosa wants to fight. Tin can, but it doesn't work out in his favor. And the classic here to ring out true. Cutler gets one, but Danny Steel back with Spectre. Let's see where it goes. Oh. A uh, really decent angle, but they were ready for it. Still some Rosa around. Oh, Going to be able to line up. That's wonderful. Could be able to get a third. Lung Lumpy just doesn't care. <laughs> just runs. It, but more importantly, it was at least the Hound trying to get a little bit of information. Nothing in the back. LGI going for a full retake against TSM. I mean, if there is anything to dictate the pace of the rest of this game, it has to be this. Oh. In we go. Danny Steele is about to say he has to be pivotal in terms of those first frags, but again, he just falls to Wardell. Not only that, but the crossfire is immaculate over in this area. Cutler going to be able to get a second... Trying to make their way through the B side. Lug Lumpy still fighting in the back. Actually going for a wide swing. Gets caught by Drone. Side is fully theirs, but elbow is about to get contested. There might actually be a gap in that smoke, but Hydro 
Well, he's scared away by the boom bot. Just about 40 seconds left. Spike will be able to go down, but still Secret's able to get one. Over towards spawn of all things, but that's just because of the TP. It was a little bit cheeky to say the least. In it goes. It's a 2-2 formation, Sully. Two going in towards elbow, two from main. And I like the idea as well from, or you realize now that TSM in that position, Hayes always kept back by his utility and oh. secrets. Hunter Siri now charged up off the kill. He gets onto Sabrosa. And that's where that split comes in because players were so out of position. They've now got to take 1v1s. Wardell's still in the back. You have Hayes holding and Wardell's got to go big. And now it's on to Hayes. One versus two. He's got the first. Nanostorm onto the there spike as well. That's now it. that's enough time. Nothing secrets can do, but TSM, they cut things way way too close the positioning that hayes had to commit to he had to wait for his alarm bot to go off you talked about that alarm bot in short but it ultimately it i i i did say that i wanted to evade saying the word pugger but it was almost exactly that the pugger mentality just holding w but oh. i i really can't speak right lug lumpy literally just holding w you gotta be able to get two same thing with secrets one back but now tsm down to a 2v1 but again, Sully, this was pure eco. This was LGI just throwing bodies mm -hmm. over towards the short area, and they were still able to win out a couple of trades. However, this clutch is, way is too coming winnable. out towards short, and so Lockdown is in a really good position, but they're not actually going for the spike plant. They do have eyes over towards short, but Danny Seal has an op. Could be able to get a contact, but they're actually going for a backside plant. So I'm thinking Danny is maybe anticipating a, a rotation back here, but an old... You know, all of reality, oh. they've committed to this A site. So I think at this point, Danny, you can try and attempt it. He's picked up a Vandal over the operator that he had. And this makes things a little bit easier on the clutch now. He can isolate 1v1s. They're both so spread apart, but Sabrosa's crept through on the right side of that smoke. And this is a quick swing from Sabrosa. Wasn't yep. prepared for that at all. Danny Steele, swing to his position, and Secrets chooses the perfect moment to swing. And Danny Steele does oh. end up going down. It's a 1v2 here on the B site. As Hydra's gonna make this rotation. Spike will go down. There's no util here to stop it. Now Wardell, what position do they elect to take? They've got a turret to watch the spike for the swing, but Wardell is the first man to take the duel. He's just going to check the flank just in case. And Wardell, this is a very tricky predicament because if he goes down, Hayes is not in an optimal position to play this retake. Oh, first contact. And taking up good stuff from Wardell. Definitely been a kill conversion, but he's on top. A tin can, still able to get one. Secrets had to have really good timing, but Secrets, so unfortunate. Wanted to blow up that Nano Swarm, still trying to find the frag. And, oh, there you go, Hazed. Still fights it up, got the lineup anyways. 11 to nine, TSM finally pushing away from LGI. Yeah, great timing as well for Hazed on that. Doesn't set it up preemptively so that he can try and catch in that scenario secrets off guard with that nano storm buys him a couple of extra seconds and that's all you really need now that is a missed shot from danny steel you want that trade to go down and think about it if he did win that trade around entirely and lgi or hydro there in particular had so many chances to cut down haze if he maybe landed one going to go in with the blast back and the showstopper and there's a chance to shut it down one for one danny steel and lgi now have got a huge advantage going forward into the retake possibly Possibly so, but it has to come up to Lug Lumpy at this point. Still pivoting around that U-Haul area. Hydro, there's nobody actually watching his cross over there, but he actually wants to fight for control of sight. And at least the cross up. Player in green box hasn't peeked out yet. Sabrosa, he's got to go, and there he is. He pops out onto Hydro, but secrets. That recon bolt actually drags Sabrosa away from his safe position. And now rolling thunder in the back. They get to go corner. for a cheeky Lug defuse, Lumpy. but no, you gotta check that. Lug Lumpy, not able to get a defuse. there on Vine, but what are they gonna do here against a team that has been formidable in the past on Icebox? Well, it's gonna start here with Danny Seal getting aggressive super oh early on. Yeah, he even missed out on the dash, but it is what it is. Still ended up getting the kill into Wardell. Traded out by Sabrosa. But this, that's a lot of early info. Again, they don't exactly have the Sova just to try to launch out an early recon dart. So, potentially a little bit more damage could have been done. But at least their goal now, just getting a trade back and getting all the bodies over towards the A site. Now they're here. Now they're ready to fight. Drone. 
Putting a lot of pressure. This is the normal TSM take. Put up a lot of focus on the left side. Let Drone try and run it up here. And Drone, he's found himself a nice spot perched on top of the double box. The fault line does end up connecting. That's where that utility can be so versatile. It has infinite verticality. And now Drone, though, they think that he's off that position, but Drone doesn't move. A stone statue up top. And now with three versus two, as Drone will get cut down. Hydro's Whoa. been big all series long. And now they've got a chance in a 2v2. Still so Rosa playing very aggressive off the post plant and secrets. We would only really realistically have one opportunity for it. Surely is nobody flanking over towards that A position. That turret is gonna get at least that little bit of information. Hey, still watching that mid rotation, but even then LGI, they try to fight on the initial contact, but it's just Sabrosa mowing through. Gonna be able to get three inputs. Good takeaway of the tripwire. Just taking up their time and actually getting the spike plant on purely because again they still don't have the information of who could be on site hayes does take down uh danny Steele. still one about to go for the wide swing it's actually snake potentially going for a trade back good flash that might actually open up for a frag and indeed it does but still drone and cutler back with two on just a two on four full spike plant hydro he's been in this position essentially all around snake 1v4 with a Sheriff, could potentially get some economic damage, but the round is done and dusted. He's just slipped through into one, and it is Hydro in the back, maintaining the right side of sight. Spike planted. And he might fight this one out, a little bit better of a position. LGI grouping up three over towards the back flank, but nobody from TSM is actually playing that off the post plant. Oh my god, what? This one up. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Okay, trigger discipline. But then again, LGI. Most of their bodies coming out from the very center of sight. Lug Lumpy gonna be able to get one on. Still Haze right in the middle of the smoke with a paranoia too, but he's nearsighted. Snake could have stuck it, but Secret's still gonna be able to get the frag back. So Broza now. Paranoia, but Secret gets it back. Oh, again, Snake could have actually won that round up oh, just a little bit earlier on. And Hydro could have a headshot here, but he does end up missing. They will drop to the low ground. TSM on their doorstep. You have Sabrosa still watching that flank and drone trying to go big off the double blast back. Great movement to get into the back lines. They've got full control and LGI will play in the retake now. Again, a wonderful space. That's all you really want out of your duelists. Both players in the back line. Wardell, he's the one to get that first pick. Off the back catwalk rotation. Players hounding around not only that but oh. tsm they actually do have a rotation they do actually have a flank going in towards the mid side but secrets good kill back on toward dell drone this is a wonderful position could just be a mop up and indeed he is one two three four could potentially get it pulls out the sidearm there you go drone from tsm it's cut that's got to make a risky move on over oh there it is essentially dry Trying to make his way forward, but again, Sabrosa, in we go. Has a little bit of a lineup, gets himself two. Has a third opportunity up in the kitchen area, but it's Snake back to get the frag. 2v2 and Hazed, putting up all the util possible, but look at this setup now. Rolling mm -hmm. Thunder, once LGI clears out the back of sight, this could be fully theirs. Yeah, right, and a Paranoia as well to force them back after the Rolling Thunder. This is a huge setup for LGI, and TSM are banking on that utility. The Nano Storm's on the site. They're going to spot the first. The Nano Storm does go off, so that's not going to keep them off it Hunter for too Spear long. Too. LGI can tag this whenever they want. You're right, Hunter Spear didn't even realize where's that Rolling Thunder coming. Not just yet. The tag goes in, and it's down to just one. This is such unfortunate positioning if you're a snake. You can get out with one maybe if he's oh. lucky. But not even that. TSM 7 to 1. He from Zabrosa in the back. This is a sandwich here on the B site. Oh. And Wardell needs to pick up this rag. He will get it onto Danny Steele. But Snake is right there to trade. But he doesn't catch him. The smoke keeping him alive. And Wardell still evading him. Zabrosa's here as well to cut rotations and even maybe find a flank. No, no. He spotted one. I think. He also saw him too. And he's got the angle. Atta boy. Lug. Oh, Snake takes one back, two, three, the four for the boys at TSM. Good lineup at least, but drones, he's not worried at all. But now he is. The Rolling Thunder comes in huge. Lug Lumpy takes him back. Couple of players in the back of sight. You do have a little bit of util. The lockdown going out at a perfect time, but Cutler with the one two combo. And the lockdown is going to take down Hydro now. Oh boy, look how much HP Lug has, man. It's it's just ridiculous. 
a 4v2 turns into a 2v none. Cutler pulls up. It might just be a 10th, and they're going for a fast play into the A site. Wardell with one Hydro on the trade, but what can he do more with just a Marshall? There's the blast pack. Drone clearing out the site. Is going to get the kill. Another one drops as Sabrosa finds Lumpy, and it's down to just two. Secrets has a revive, but that's even if he can get to a body. Spike planted. All those corpses are strewn throughout that A main area. Can't exactly make his way through. He has to make his way through through brute force, but oh, Sabrosa. Oh. Time before Drone makes this rotation. Sabrosa primed with a paranoia, but there's one flashpoint back already. There's the swing, but only one kill exchange for both sides as Lug Lumpy actually favors the odds back to LGI now. Okay, decent from Lug Sabrosa. Look at that spike. That is in such that a nerf frenzy, but. It's, it's so awkward it's on top of tube too almost nobody can get to it at this point hydro does take down sabrosa again 2v2 somehow trying to get to it they did not need to updraft it would be so optimal but he's actually running doesn't even want to clear sight both players are still here danny steel now going for a little bit cheekier of a post plant position trying to fight this immediately in mid only 20 hp left on the man and he hears both. Oh, there you go! Line up for Danny Steele! Changing here. It's TSM. They like to at least half buy into this one. Push what they can. Wardell in particular spending 1900 into this one after buying the Sheriff in the last. It's Hayes so who can get forward. He will get the ult orb. And that Bucky from Wardell. It wasn't able to do much in the first map. And it can't do much here as well. So he's shut down. Drone's still in a smoke. They've got all the info in the world. And Drone has found one through a smoke. Three versus three. And rotation coming in from Hayes to at least give him the numbers. To at least battle against LGI now. Stealing sight. Uh, paranoia malplaced, but it's at Ooh. least going to clear out a big angle. And not only that, but double coverage of that same spot. Cutler still goes down, but Drone to holding it down. Nano Swarm 2, it evades that default position. And Drone with yet another one. Hydro now 1v2. Winnable to say the least with a Spectre. As long as this isn't a crossfire. No, it isn't. Has a card clear this angle. Indeed, he dies, but Drone again! So clear with a shift side, but that does give a little bit more space for these players to actually pop out, but they're not going for it. They're going to go for a full retake, Sully. Oh, Danny Steele revealed oh, that recon no. vault again. Huge playoff of it. Sabrosa, or apologies, Wardell was hoping to get something off of his body, but nothing there for him. Now, TSM, though, despite already Danny Steele going down, they've got really good post plant positions here, LGI. But as I say, that Hayes comes in swinging. It doesn't matter what post plant positions you've got. If you don't have the guns, it's not going to work. But Lug Lumpy to the rescue. What Two is me? big kills and nearly a great. He's still been able to have a couple of really good highlight plays. That's good for the Twitter clips. <laughs> Definitely, TSM though. <laughs> they slowly but surely back away. They're only two players committed. And this round is pretty scary, but Drone does have a bailout card. He's got the showstopper, but now LG, I have a revive. Ooh. Lug Lumpy, but there goes that revive like you mentioned. But oh, that showstopper, such a perfect spot. And Drone is still fragging. Getting a third onto Secrets, but good spot from Danny Steele. Again, because of that revive. Been in that position for a while, but now a lockdown to shut down the hope of Danny Steele. Do they have time? In his way on. And that's a solo lockdown, too. The rest of TSM, because of this space being made, just because of this pressure, they could just maintain their spaces or maintain their spots throughout the rest of the map. Less rotations. There's and no not time. only that, but chunking off so much left. time. 10 seconds, 8 seconds. No, it, it, they just don't have time. They just don't. They have to get the spike down in this smoke. But it's over, folks. Let's get it. LGI.